Okay, I'm in Cleveland, kind of. Uh, I'm significantly outside of Cleveland. This is the only hotel we could find. Okay. Look, most of the pundits, including me, spend almost all their time in the major cities. So I spend 90% of my time in LA, New York, and Washington. So there's a different vibe out here. And maybe this is super cliched and like, oh, I've been to the Midland. And it turns out in the middle of the country, they feel slightly differently. Yeah, but they do. They do. This is not an L.A. crowd. This is not a D.C. or New York crowd. And uh, and they look pissed. So as I overheard people talking, and it's I know it's super anecdotal. How many you know caveats can I give this? Can I give to you on this? But I walk out of a sandwich place uh, at lunch, and I swear the first thing I thought was, Oh no, Trump's gonna win. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's going to win. This is Ohio, the the state that decides almost every presidential election. The, secondarily, this is not prime. Primarily, I thought, these guys want change. They're angry at the establishment. They think Trump's like, well, that guy's plain talking. Plain talking, right? Uh, but, but that's primary. Secondarily, I thought, they're not going to vote for Hillary Clinton. I'm looking around at these folks thinking... Really? Like they, oh God, the establishment doesn't get it. Like it's not that she's a woman, although that, by the way, will, I mean, I'm, I honestly, this is, I wish to God this weren't the case, but it's going to be a significant problem with some white males in this country. Uh, we know that, but, but you know what? Um, that last Quinnipiac poll had Trump winning white males by over 30%. Okay, but again, I'm not, it's not about that. I, I just, Hillary screams, I am your standard politician. I'm the same politician you've seen all your life. And these folks don't look like they're in the mood for it. <sighs> what have we done? What have I done? Uh, look, I, I certainly didn't do it. I fought hard against it. But this was not a time to put up a standard politician. And that's what the establishment did. And they did it on the right wing side too. They put out like Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio. They sent their little robots where you pull the string and they come out and say talking points. I want to dispel the notion, yada, yada. And this was not a time for that. And on the Democratic side, they, we put out the most standard politician of all time. And this is not a time for that. So God help us all. I hope my BS anecdotal read of Ohio in a third of a day is as silly as it sounds, right? Not that the read sounds silly, but that you would make a decision based on that. Okay, last thing. Oh, Brexit's not going to happen. The establishment, no, it's not going to happen. Where everyone in the establishment is against Brexit, deeply against Brexit. Brexit's not going to happen. What? Sit down on it happen. Well, I got the same vibe about Trump. Oh, <laughs> please, I do. not I can't possibly be Donald Trump. I read a mainstream article about Trump right after I, you know, uh, walked around and got all this stuff. And they were like, oh, I do not declare. What a horrible, horrible candidate. He doesn't really understand any of the policies. <laughs> it's going to be the Brexit strategy. The, the middle of England is Michigan, Wisconsin, right. Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And Mitt Romney lost by 64 electoral votes. The total electoral votes of those four states in the Rust Belt, 64. Don't get me wrong. Four different people have come up to me. Uh, you know, there's plenty of young Turks fans here. They're saying, hey, I love the show, etc." It's not like I'm telling you Ohio is super conservative. I'm telling you the vibe I got was F the establishment. But maybe it's a total preconceived motion, notion. We'll see. We'll see. I'm super open to it. I'm just telling you what I felt today on the front. And, uh, and it won pretty. I think Trump is going to win. I, I'm sorry.